Alright, so today we're going to be reviewing the Ultimate Survival Tools Para Knife 4.0. Uh, I've heard a lot of people not want to do reviews on this because they say it's a crappy knife, so we're going to find out and see if it really is. Let's open it up real quick. Alright, so I got it out of the packaging. It comes with a pretty alright sheath. I like it. It's... Actually, no, I don't like it that much. It's kind of hard to get open. There we go. That's really, really cheap. Look at that. That'd probably rip off if you yanked it really hard. It's got a belt loop on it. So, I mean, it fits all right. I mean, it secures it in there, which is what it's supposed to do. So, got an extra layer with the Velcro, plus a little crappy button. Alright, you got this ferro rod, magnesium bar if you look, it's only very, very, very tiny, tiny little piece of ferro rod. The rest of it's magnesium. So, test that out. Let's get this thing back out, if I can. Oh my god. Alright, this thing out the way. This is a knife. It's got a actually very sharp edge right here. Let's see if I can. This little piece of cardboard that it came with. Oh, it's actually plastic right there too. But dang, we found a piece of paper. All right, so here's a piece of paper. If I can actually hold it straight. Eh, I mean, it did a pretty decent cut at first, and it just tore. But, I mean, it's pretty decently sharp. I mean, it's not doing very good at cutting this paper, but... It'd probably cut all those things. Alright, but it is pretty sharp. I'll give it that. The serration's really sharp, too. I mean, it'll just... I mean, it sticks in there pretty, pretty deeply. So I can get you around and show you that. Yeah, it's in there pretty good. I mean, this is pine, but... Still in there pretty decently. Alright, now I'm going to show you the uh, ferro rod. Get this magnesium to it. I mean, it looks like it's supposed to have a 90 degree on it, but it's not... I mean, it's not that sharp, so we'll see how it fares against the ferro rod again. You see that? It's not, like I said, it's not a very good ferro rod. If you really wanted to use it, you'd have to use the blade, which is I mean, when you use the blade, it works pretty well, but other than that, it's a piece of crap. Time for the knife itself. Let's do some feathering and see how that works out. I just grabbed a ram stick from the wood pile. It'll do it. Look at that. It's doing a pretty alright job. I mean, it could be a lot, a lot better than this. But it could also be a lot worse. It could not do it at all. But now that's starting a fire. I highly doubt that because that ferro rod is not good at all. Another thing is this grip, this paracord is really thin and it's not comfortable at all. I mean the little finger notch there. I mean this thing is not comfortable. It hurts your hand to use it. When I mean, you're gripping it you all this metal poking out, it's getting you in the hand. So let's try batoning some wood, see how that works out. See if this thing can fare up to that. Got my batoning stick that I made a while ago. I got a piece of wood from the wood pile. All right, let's see if this can actually baton something. I guarantee it's gonna hurt. Ugh, it's not gonna be fun. All 
Okay, I'm honestly impressed with that. It went through really easily. It was not comfortable doing it, but it did go through. Now, I'd want to try it with harder wood, but around here all we have really is pine. So, that's the best I can do for right now. But if anybody wants to try it with something harder, you can. Let me know how it, how it works. Let me try out the tip on it. See if it breaks off at all. Or bends. Thing is not comfortable in the hand at all. Let's try on this in my batoning stick. It's a little bit harder wood. Oh yeah, it's not wanting to go in at all. Alright. Oh yeah, look at that. Go ahead and uh, this thing focused. As you can see it, it got bent a little bit at the tip. Yeah, that was straight. You see that? How it's bent at the tip. Yeah, that thing is, it's just not, it does not have a very good tip on it. So, I would recommend getting a much, much better knife than this. But if you're on a budget and want to get it, you can. Is that Walmart, they're like eight bucks or so, depending on where you go. I mean, China can't expect much it's cheap but it seems to be decent to be honest I mean you should definitely put a different handle on it make your own if you can I mean this paracord it just I mean look at that it, it has so much play in it. it it'll just move around in your hand I mean look at that it's already it just slides right off the end look at that but if you look inside there are holes in it you can make this into a spear if you needed to or what I would do with those holes if I really needed this knife, I'd put my own handle on it because my hand is hurting from using this thing. This is a short video, it's a simple knife. If there's anything else I should have done with this, let me know. I can't really think of any other tests to do on it. But, I mean, it's actually still pretty sharp. I, mean, I can rub my finger against it and not cut me, but it'll cut other things. The serration is actually really sharp on it. I give it that. The serration is really good. So, if you need to buy it, buy it. It's cheap, it's good on a budget. But I'd recommend spending the money and getting a good knife or making your own. So, until next time, you guys have a good day and subscribe if you like the video.